Hey guys, this is Level Up Hero, and this is Project Demimod 1.0 for modding Project Demigod. It's just a quick instructional video on how to mod avatars, which is the only current mod support. Okay, so if you haven't already, you're going to need to download a specific version of Unity. You're going to need Unity 2020.3.43, which you can find right here in the Unity Archive website. And you're going to download it using the Unity Hub button here. Now, once you've downloaded Unity 2020.3.43, you're going to need to install some modules. So you're going to go over to Installs, go over to your Unity version that you're using, Add Modules. Now, depending on if you're using PC VR or Quest mods, you're going to need to download certain ones. If you are doing Quest mods, you're going to need Android Build Support, OpenJDK, and Android SDK and NDK tools. You're going to install those. If not, if you're doing Windows PC VR for Steam, you're just going to need Windows Build Support IL2 CPP and install those. So first off, you're going to go to GitHub, go to Project Demi Mod Modding SDK, which you can find the links for at the bottom of this video. You're going to go to Code, download Zip. Once you've downloaded it, you're just going to unzip it using a tool like 7-Zip and extract the files. Once you've done that, you're going to open it up using Unity's hub. Just by going to the drop down arrow next to open, add project from disk, and that should add your project here. Okay, now that we've got the project loaded up in Unity, first you want to go to assets, scenes, and find avatar modding scene. This has everything that we need to create our avatar mods from our models. So I used a free asset from the store called sci-fi character 08. What you're going to do now is find your prefab. I'll just use some random one and drag it into the avatar modding hierarchy. You should automatically paste them at 000 for position and rotation, but if not, go ahead and fix that. Next up is making sure that this model can be used as a humanoid avatar. So to find his model, you can just click on avatar on his animator, scroll up until you find the base object here. It'll have a little arrow next to it and go over to their import screen here. First up, you want to go to Rig and make sure that this is set to Humanoid. If it's set to Generic, then set it to Humanoid, and then go down here and hit Apply. Then go to Model and make sure that Read Write Enabled has been checked, and then hit Apply again. Next, we're going to bring out the actual modding tool. So you're going to go up to the top, go to Project Demigod, and then Mod Exporter. So this has all of the buttons and tools you'll need to create an avatar mod from your model. You can just dock it wherever you want. First up, we're just going to grab that prefab that we dragged in here earlier and drop it into the avatar model slot. Now make sure that if you want to create these mods for Quest, you're going to hit switch to Android. It's, if not, it should be set to uh, Windows for PC VR mods by default. So I'll leave that as is for now. Now this is the easy part. I'm just going to hit set up avatar and what this does is creates an animator, sets it to the correct animator that we need to create hand poses, sets all of those and then in our player avatar script it will actually go through your entire character's hierarchy and add whatever is needed from here. Next we're going to hit set up folder structure this will create the correct folder structure that we need for Mod.io to upload our mods and then load them into the game at runtime. Next up, we're going to create custom material settings, which will go through and create a specific material slot for each renderer that is on your, your character. So when we hit Setup Avatar, that added a few things to our avatar that we're going to need to change a little bit to make sure that it's configured for the player. First one being this small capsule down here. This is just setting up where the eyes are for the camera. So make sure you don't move the capsule. Make sure you move its parent, the eyes debug capsule. It's pretty easy. You're just going to bring it up and then a little more forward, like it's right over the eyes, like they were goggles. That's fine right there. Next comes the only part that's a little more time intensive, which is setting up the hand placements. 
If we go over to the hands, you can see that each finger got a little white sphere attached to it. These are the fingertips that you're going to move until they're about halfway out of the fingertip, about there. Now these don't have to be perfect, but the closer you get them, the better your hands will look whenever they are doing dynamic grabs, like when they're grabbing the edges of buildings or street lights or that kind of thing. Next up, we're going to set the palm placement, which is called the avatar left or right palm spawn points prefab. So this is basically a few squares that have been put together to give you an idea about where the palm needs to be set so that the weapons are placed correctly in the hands. So you're going to want to rotate this so that the blue square is pointing directly out of the palm and the green one is going towards this side of the hand where the thumb is. And then you're just going to move this so that it is just coming out of the palm. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but the better you place it, the more accurate the weapons will be in the hand. Now you're just going to repeat this with the right hand. Now, if you want to make these as accurate as possible, I have added shapes to each one of these that will help you debug where the object is going to be placed in the hand. You can activate those just by clicking on the object and the inspector turning them on. So this is about where our sword would be positioned anytime we grab it. So you can see it's a little bit off from the palm. I could just drag it a little bit closer, maybe move it up a little bit, or if you wanted to, you can even tilt it a little bit so that it fits in the hand better. And you can do that with every object sword, shield, spear, baton, everything. Now make sure that when you are moving the weapons individually to try and make them fit better, make sure that you move the top level object, like where it says spawn point. Do not move these bottom parts, the shield shape or the grab point, or your weapon's gonna be off. Now, if you wanna make sure that your character doesn't ever disappear because your VR camera thinks that it's not looking at it, you can go to any render you want specifically the hands and body, and hit update when off screen to make sure that that's true and it will always render your character no matter what. This does come at a small performance cost, but it's kind of worth it in VR. All right, next up, we need to create some hand poses for the different weapons that we'll be using in Project Demigod. So we're just gonna hit create hand poses, which will take us into play mode and allow us to record hand poses at runtime using the animation. Basically, you're just going to hit create hand pose, next pose, over and over again until all 16 of these poses have been completed. Once we're at the 16th one, which is the last one, make sure you hit create hand pose and then hit finish hand pose process, which will record the hands forward direction for setting up your hands correctly. Okay, now that we've finished up the hand pose process, there are only a few steps left. First off, we wanna be sure that we save our avatar prefab so we don't lose any of our changes. If we've left any debug shapes on the avatar, such as the eyes capsule or one, maybe one of the weapons, we wanna hit disable all debug shapes, which will turn all of those off for us. And then finally, we hit either build for Windows if we're doing it for PC VR or build for Android if we're making these for Quest. When we started this, we had already hit switch to Windows, so we're already good there. We're just going to hit build for Windows PC VR, save and continue, and this will automatically build the addressables package that we need and put them in the folders that you created when you hit setup folder structure up here. If it didn't open the folder for you automatically, you can scroll to the top and hit open export folder. That will show you where in your folders these mods have been created. Go inside mods, inside standalone Windows 64. Here's our character name, and here's all of the files that we need. Now this part's important because we need to make sure that we zip the correct file. So we're not going to zip the character name file, we're going to zip this file, either the Android or the standalone Windows 64. And this is the one we're gonna be uploading to mod.io. Quick way to do this is just to right click on the folder that you want, go to send to, and then compressed zipped folder.
Now that our folder has been zipped, we're just going to upload it to mod.io. So once you get to the mod.io website, make sure that you have an account that you've already logged in, find Project Demigod, and then we're going to go to add mod, type in whatever name that you want for this. Once you've added a name, a summary, and a logo, just scroll down and hit player avatar as the mod type and hit save. That will create the mod profile. Once you've saved, it will update the screen so that you can scroll down and go to file manager. Make sure that you're hitting the correct tag here or your mods won't work. So for this one, we're gonna hit windows. We're gonna hit make this release live for proof platforms, agree to the terms and privacy policy, and then you can either click to select it or you can just drag and drop from your own file explorer. So I'm gonna grab the standalone Windows 64 zipped folder and just select zip file. You can see it here. I'm just gonna hit upload. Once it's fully uploaded, the file manager screen will change and you'll see this here. You can see your file here, which you can edit or delete. Now let's say we wanted to create a new mod for PCVR after we've made our old one. We've gone through this entire setup process again, we've created the folder structure, but before we actually finish setup and zip our folder, we wanna be sure that inside here, our only mod package is our new mod. So we wanna take our old mod folder and either delete it or move it into our mods folder or wherever you keep your mods. Now inside down Windows 64, all we have is our new mod and the folder structure in here that we want to zip up and send to mod.io. Now we do this because if we left our old mod folder along with our new mod folder inside this folder, we would be zipping both of them up and doubling up the memory storage for that mod. If we've done everything right, then our mod should work perfectly inside Project Demigod. You can do the same thing if you wanted to create quest mods by going through the same process that we just did and then hitting build for Android quest. And that's basically it for creating avatar mods for Project Demigod. I'll post all the links that I've talked about in this video down below. And if you have any questions, feel free to join the Project Demigod Discord server.